What's up fam, Fulgens here with Building Blocks. And in this video, we're gonna go over how to create motion backgrounds with the latest and greatest features in Ecamm Live 4.1 beta. And if you have not downloaded the latest and greatest Ecamm Live 4.1 beta, get it today at ecamm.com slash beta. That's ecamm.com slash beta. Now, the design is inspired by a fellow Ecamm Live community member, Gabe Leal. He had this pretty cool motion background here with some shapes uh, kind of floating around, kind of like in a lava lamp style. Uh, and we're gonna see how we can create something similar in Ecamm with the Ecamm features. Shout out to Gabe. So let's get right in to it. So we are here and we're going to start off with our base, which is going to be a rectangle that we are going to pull across the screen here. Like so. I kind of like the background colors that Gabe had uh, in his video uh, where it was kind of like a purpley blue. So for us, we can try a motion background fill and let's just pull some of these crayon colors here and see what happens. All right, so that looks pretty good. Currently have some purple and blue going on. So we'll leave it like that for now and we'll label this as the background. All right, and we'll lock that in. So we'll leave that alone, alone for now. Now that we have our background locked in, we're going to go to the text overlay panel and we're going to create a shape. We're gonna find this triangle shape here. So let's use this one for now. And let's add that. And now let's take this triangle and try to enlarge it as much as you possibly can so we can fill the screen. And let's place it right here, okay? And then let's go back into the text overlay panel and change this from fixed position to scrolling ticker, okay? So you wanted to do this but wait, there's more. Let's go back into this new scrolling ticker that we have here. Go back to edit text and we're gonna add another triangle. Let's add this one here, okay? And now we're gonna create some type of V shape with four triangles together. Let's take this one and this one. Right, so we have this V going on right here. And to lengthen the time, let's copy Command C, Command V, Command V, Command V, right? To create a few of them. Let's save that. And now let's see what we have here. So now you're gonna have this triangle kind of scrolling in and then the next pair is going to move in like so and it's going to repeat itself right but now let's enhance this a bit let's go back in here edit text and we can choose to keep these white but now you have the option of selecting let's say the first pair of four triangles and changing the color to something else. For example, let's say if we will go with lime here, and then we can take this and make this a red color, and then take this and make this, I don't know, an orange color, right? So we have about three colors here, and maybe add, we could add more, but actually let's take these three colors so we can delete these shapes here, it's okay. 
and let's now highlight all of them command c command v command v command v so you have a few of them here right and let's save that so now we have a few colors that are going to be scrolling in right and let's enhance this a bit more shall we as it's doing its thing we can actually go back in here and now lower the opacity of the ticker, if you will. And then we can actually add a shadow if you want to, right? So we can keep it this way. This is looking so far so good. Look at those different colors uh, coming in and we have that steady motion background layered right underneath it. So this is looking really good so far. But wait, there is certainly more to this that can be done, right? If we like this, we can actually now add another shape that's going to move in. And you're going to see how this all comes together after we add this next shape. So this is going to be something a little bit different. Let's look for a circle here. Uh, some of them don't change color. So I think if you use like this black circle, which is a bullet point. Yeah, so this one changes color and it's up to you what color to use, but we're gonna use the same method we did before. We're going to have one circle, add that to the stream. Let's lock the triangle ticker and let's enlarge this as much as possible. Keep going, right? So that's fine right there and let's click on edit text let's go back in here and assign scrolling ticker to this shape here it's going to kind of jump down below but when you see the finished product you might want to leave it there it looks pretty good uh, let's add a few more circles if you want to let's select command C command V right so you have a few and you could change the colors of them but let's see what this neon green uh, layout will do for now right so you're gonna have a bunch of circles scrolling in and the same thing if you want to you can actually add assign a drop shadow to them as well we can leave that it doesn't hurt you can lower the opacity as well uh, but we'll leave it on full opacity for now now here is the fun part. We have some shapes, we have our motion background. Now we're going to add some filters on top of this and it's all going to come together in epic fashion. So we're going to add a new shape overlay. And it just remembers that we, uh, when we last selected this, we created a rectangle with a motion gradient fill so this is what you're seeing now but now we're going to edit this and we're going to change the fill from motion to inch right so you kind of have this nice lava lamp looking uh design going on right now Let's change this from rectangle. We can rename this pinch, lock that in place. And we're not done. We're not done. We actually now want to add another shape on top of the pinch. And, ooh, hold on. This looks actually really good too. Let's hide this for a second. Let's go back into pinch and increase it from uh, right now it's set to 62, I believe. Let's bump that up to 100 to give it some, yeah, give it more motion right there. That looks really good. So let's bring back the last rectangle that we added and we're gonna change this from pinch to blur, right? So this is going to soften the shapes even more. And it's currently set to a 62. So you can tweak this uh, as you wish. 
but the 62 kind of look good. We could leave it on 50, right? And lock that in place. Now, if you see how it's going on, you see the shakes moving in. They look really soft. They have a nice blur. There's a nice shadow effect. It's creating some really cool layers. You can fine tune it a little bit. So for example, the circles that we brought in, we can click on the gear icon and see what happens if we lower the opacity on those shapes there. That looks pretty good as well. And there you have it. That looks pretty cool. And once that's to your liking, you can now add your camera overlays. You can actually add your widget or screen share overlays. And you have a fully customizable motion graphic background built entirely inside of Ecamm with no outside resources. How beautiful is that? Ecamm Live 4.1 Beta is incredible. Thank you so much, Ken and Glenn, for these amazing features. I hope all of you got some great tips today and walked away with some inspiration like I did with Gabe and the other masterminds such as Martin McKenna and Brian K. Love you all, guys. We will be back. Anna and I will be back live with you all next week for Ecamm Network News and Entertainment and another episode of Building Blocks. Until then, have a great day. Have an amazing week and hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.